United States President Joe Biden has made his final appearance at the 79th United Nations General Assembly in the New York City. His impassioned speech touched on a variety of topics he has remained committed to throughout his term as president. As he now looks forward towards his Vice President Kamala Harris ahead of the November elections to secure another Democratic Party presidency, what is, what is he pledging for Africa? Uh, Voice of America's or VOS Anthony Labrunto reports outside of the United Nations headquarters in New York. Hello, I'm Anthony Labruto, once again joining you for VOA Africa, outside of the United Nations General Assembly, the 79th United Nations General Assembly here in New York City. President Biden spoke a little while ago. He actually just walked outside of the delegates' entrance right into the Manhattan Street, I believe it's East 3rd Street. Um, a very, very exciting time here so far. And so President Biden spoke about a great number of things. In the final months of his presidency, this is his last time to make an impassioned effort to world leaders and the world stage about why he left, some of his ambitions for Vice President Kamala Harris, who will, um, who will possibly actually become the next president of the United States should she be elected in November. So President Biden talked about uh, the Ukraine war, the, the conflict in Israel, um, but he specifically mentioned the delegate seats that could be appropriated at the UN Security Council in the latest round of reforms that Linda Thomas-Greenfield talked about as a potential expansion. That's an incredibly, incredibly exciting. He called on, he called on uh, the United Nations to in implement these reforms, notably to increase perspectives among the United Nations Security Council so they could get, that they could get back to doing what their job was initially, which is creating peace for the world. President Biden also spoke about Sudan and the number of displaced refugees, which is about 8 million still remaining within the country. And he talked about how the two generals should come together at this United Nations General Assembly to come to a peace agreement and to stop the suffering and the needless bloodshed that's happening in Sudan. President Biden also talked about and pledged around another billion dollars for climate change finance, climate change reform that will go towards green energy, for uh, the clean energy transition away from fossil fuels, climate mitigation efforts, physical infrastructure, a number of things that African leaders could be seeing in the near future. I'm Anthony Liberto for VOA Africa outside of the United Nations headquarters in New York City. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.